first of all thank you so much for joining us it's an absolute pleasure to interact with you all it's my first ever zoom interview in months i don't know so uh, i saw the um, anthology series that you have made and i was quite impressed with uh, everything that you have done you know um, i i understand that you were sh- uh, the series adam was shot under a lot of restrictions and the quality of the output it just blew my mind you know uh, i wanted to talk to you in detail about it i will try not to give out too many spoilers because the interview will be out before the series comes out okay uh, let let me start up with shivas what was the genesis of the idea like uh, were you approached to come up with something which is relevant for times like these or was it like okay let's uh, give us something um, which we can shoot at ease you know uh, what was it like thanks for calling all of us for a an interview together because i'm so happy to see these faces uh, of my friends and colleagues uh, the thing is uh, uh, it all started when uh, sujata and deva called me saying uh, i have wanted uh, some stories to be produced during lockdown in chennai in telugu which kind of uh, had some restrictions but not it's not that bad actually because chennai used to be the hub of the telugu film industry so that's why we could get so many uh, artists and technicians who are telugu basically uh, and the overall uh, outline for the series was that it had to have a theme the stories will have to follow a theme and naturally the uh, easier options were like to go with romance or crime or go slightly uh, adult in terms of going anger and those things but i i i thought uh, morality would make an interesting theme because it's not very definitive it's not very restrictive like morality is in the moving goal post so morality is very uh, subjective so uh, i shared that idea with uh, the two of them then with shrikar sir the, uh, the everyone was uh, quite excited about the prospect so we went that way so yes i was approached to write it but the idea of uh, keeping morality as the theme evolved because there had to be a theme and this uh, looked like the best theme to have okay let me put it this way so uh, were the stories written before the pandemic or during the pandemic or or was it very specific to this uh, uh, story itself uh, the stories are not said during pandemic but they were written during the pandemic the but, the whole the whole writing process was during the pandemic right now uh, what i wanted to understand was uh, for a lot of us right I, i i can speak for myself our view on life has changed so much during this pandemic right like we are uh, rethinking our relationship with so many people around us or you know how we perceive work has changed you know there's so many things that have changed did that sort of affect you in terms of your writing and how you constructed the uh, characterizations or sequences like uh, Did that play a role? Like the society that we are living in is supposed to be right in the middle of an ice age. That's a scientific theory. Uh, only we don't feel it. We think it's normal. So I do believe that our life is anyway short. Uh, I have a pretty nihilistic take on everything. So I keep talking about uh, not losing relationships and uh, friendships over trivial issues because we are all not going to be here forever. So. that kind of a pall of gloom is always hanging over uh, my head i guess so the pandemic did, didn't change that output it didn't change the fundamental principles of uh, our moral uh, standing but it did change uh, the working style in a way that it became a little more urgent we wanted to connect with each other very quickly we wanted to support each other we wanted to stand by each other and probably tell stories that are more about hope because that's what we need uh, and uh, what this pandemic has taught us is uh, more than uh, in any other time we are all very interconnected uh, this is not the time to be selfish or uh, uh, carry on uh, or carry you know wounds from the past and have vengeful thoughts it's it's a time for forgiveness forgiveness it's it's a time to move on so yes that way probably it affected but these stories i i could have written any other time because morality is you know eternal now that we have actors from uh, three different series i wanted to ask each one of you prasanna uh, kishore sir rohini uh, varlakshmi like 
when you heard your respective stories like what was your instant reaction because uh, like she was said uh, morality is such a moving goal post so your perception of how your character evolves it certainly changed for me when i was watching the series but uh, because you are playing that role like how did you perceive it um, when you heard the thing at, and also while acting in those roles so uh, go it prasanna next yeah adam was more like served to me on a platter uh i didn't have to uh, worry much about anything because i had all the best names involved and uh, i worked with them all uh, been very comfortable and about uh, morality i i was given uh, another script uh, initially i read the script uh, somewhere i couldn't uh, uh, uh connect with it because as uh, 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 shiva said morality is something very subjective and i was given another choice of uh, reading this script what i've done now and that instantly uh, excited me for various reasons like i was personally able to connect with it uh, i was able to see myself and uh, there was a lot of romance a lot of uh, <laughs> you know i've been off late doing a lot of uh, uh, negative uh, uh, shade shaded roles and it was the, the degree of negativism was going up and up uh, every film and i was i was within myself longing to do something very uh, charming very uh, uh, romantic and when uh, uh, sujatha and deva uh, gave me this wonderful opportunity i just couldn't wait to grab it and uh, yeah i i loved what i did uh, crossroads made sense to me every bit okay rohini ma'am uh, go ahead i was uh, it was clear that i wanted to uh, do something in this platform uh, which will have uh, my character as the most important character because as a character artist in uh, mainstream cinema we do get very good meaty characters but then the story uh, revolves around uh, the hero heroine but i thought this platform gives us actors who would want to explore the unexplored stories and emotion um, i was very clear that you know i would like to be the main character of the story so when they uh, narrated the story uh, i really felt it it had a lot of scope and then uh, the way it was written it was really fantastic the way it the, the whole story was unveiled in the, through this character the whole life of this woman has to be conveyed that kind of excited me i said yes it's okay. okay and uh, we did a lot of work sajun and uh, myself we did a lot of work Sajjan, you want to uh, take it forward from there? Like, uh, what sort of interaction you had with Rohini Maan uh, while making this? Yeah. Uh, actually, uh, when I first read the script again, uh, I was blown. It was a brilliantly written uh, script. Uh, I think Devas Jata and uh, Shiva sir knows uh, how adamant I was that I wanted to do this script. So, uh, from the start, I was like, I want to do this. Come on, give this to me. So, at last it came to me. actually i was scared uh, when i read the script because it was so well written that uh, there is a lo- lot of chance that it can go wrong in the translation on screen so i had to take care in all the possible ways so that uh, i do justice to what was written so that fear was a kind of challenge also for me so we did a lot of reading with the actors with the uh, Rohini ma'am I had separate calls with Rohini ma'am JP sir with Praveen the, the boy yeah where uh, since uh, actually uh, both JP sir and uh, Rohini ma'am knows the language hmm. I didn't know the language okay so I had to go through the script again and again to get familiar with the words first what it means so that when I explain them or when I interact with them I should be clear of what I am talking about. so okay. that was like the language was a challenge but uh, it was uh, quite interesting Uh, so uh, we did a lot of readings before the shoot. I mean, we had almost like four to five Zoom calls, uh, and then when I went on set, it was quite easy because uh, we had done some homework on the same. Sure. 
and uh, yeah again even during the shoot i was quite scared and the fear was inside me that uh, what was written has to be translated well because i know that at any point nobody can say anything to the script or sure sir if something goes wrong it will come on me i knew that it was so <laughs> well written <laughs> yeah so i had to make sure and uh, that i i was in that uh, pressure and tension but with the cooperation of the actors in that very short period we shot in two days okay. uh, it was the whole thing in two days yeah it was a great experience yeah right uh varu and kishore like i was blown away by the conversations uh, you know uh, you you had in your uh, short film i mean the way your character is for both of you there there is some sort of a role reversal right uh, initially kishore comes off as this very arrogant guy and people want to empathize with you and what you're feeling but then i don't know uh, something happens and then people end up empathizing more with kishore and they totally agree with your decision uh, which you take in it so uh, what was your interpretation uh, when you uh, uh, while performing it because every expression had to be perfect right uh, if you go little off the mark then it conveys a very different meaning i guess so uh, what was your thought process while doing this okay so my process is not as deep as everybody has spoke about <laughs> people who know me know my process i'm very very simple like right but the thing is that uh, when the script first came to me uh, what excited me was the fact that somebody gave me work i'll be very honest because i was just happy to go out there and work because i am a workaholic and sitting at home has been my nightmare so i think getting out there and working was my first call to it i don't care what comes even if it's going to be an ad for me to dance on the road in a in some <laughs> swim sort of thing i think i don't mind i just want to be in front of the camera because i am not worked in like 6 months and it is driving me thank mad. god Thank no. God. <laughs> so, <laughs> second of all, is that I think I've been following um, Shiva sir, irritating the crap out of him. I think for all the time that he's known me, I think I've been work. I said some form of work with him, and I was so happy that he was directing my. Because I've worked with Sajjan before. I've also been, uh, uh, yeah, indirectly worked with uh, Bharat. So Shiva sir was by when he when I heard it was my story. It was a lot of fun, and for once somebody in a story pictured me. Not to beat up people, not to be the next role, and where I could smile relatively better off, and I was I was looking like a woman. I was not made to look like a woman who was supposed to be a man. So there were a lot of other angles to it also, which made me feel different, which is all like a bonus point for me. Because every time I hear a script, they're like, "Ah, you're hearing it, ma'am. Hi, she's been like, 'What are you doing? What the fuck are you?'" So I'm like, I'm tired of these fight scripts. So I was like, "Wow, somebody's giving me something else other than a fight script to do." So I was very excited about that. And having said that, I am very comfortable working with Kishore sir because of Sajjan because we worked together in uh, HRK already. And I think uh, Kishore sir is by far one of the finest actors we have in India. And I think he's just uh, amazing to work with. What a lovely human being he is. Moreover, I think, um, like you said, coming to the writing point of view from Shiva sir's point of view, I think I am not a very person like I can't think too much about the character. But I I am a very director's actor. so if i can understand what he wants i will give him what he wants that i think that's how it worked with us and uh, i i i not too much when people say oh, what mood were you in did you go into the mood did you go to the i can't lie i don't do any of it is there something about getting into costume going on set and then someone says okay it just happens like in fact even for rehearsals and for reading and for i think i in fact want the message listen this emotion will not come out i do my best during rehearsals but somehow it only happens on set and something about those words take an action and when you are in character it i cannot get into that character only at that point of time so which i which one want she was the reading said don't expect too much said you know this was happening with my first time i've never done readings like this and you know interact so much with other cast and try to see how to uh, express myself on a rehearsal basis which is i've never done it like from bala sir's time also when he told me aludu kaatte said sir adala varad sir you take pogana na panni kaatra So he just looked at me and said, "That's my process. I can't help it." So when that happened, in this, what I love about the script is the fact that there are a lot of subtle reactions. Mm. Everything in the script is extremely subtle because what I'm feeling is not exactly what is on my face. So that was something which I think uh, I have to thank Shiva sir because he got the subtlety of the character to come out, which I have never done that subtle a role probably in my uh, career graph, and I think that is extremely subtle for me. And when when the change happened, right? one with the clinic with shoulder and in the house front it was a very nice change over so not like, the graph was very nice for the character and uh, 
Having said that, yeah, I think it just it was just nice to work because I think somewhere this whole unit somewhere has been like interrelated because uh, I've known Sujatha for a long time. I've worked with Prasanna. I've worked with Bharat. I've worked with Sajjan. You know, I've known Rohini ma'am for a long time. So somewhere everybody is just interconnected to the whole thing. I know JP sir really well. And you know, so it's just nice that the whole thing comes together. We might not be directly in the same script, but then you know that you are part of something which is good. Right. And I think that was the uh, end product. I think. Right. Now I, I'm very curious to see uh, uh, Varlakshmi's new new avatar. He gets upset when I speak slowly only. Is it Martha? Are you all right? What happened? Why are you speaking slowly? So people who know me know I'm extremely hyper. So this character is like totally the opposite of what I play in reality, and you know I'm like totally cracked. So. This is like Shivasa, I'm a stand for make me look non-cracked in a film. <laughs> but but has that been a problem for you, Varu? Uh, every script that you get, uh, they, they sort of give you a very manly uh, character or. Uh, see, the thing is, I think because there's nobody to fill that position in our industry, so by default it comes to me. Okay. And because as a person, I'm like the people know I stand up for women's rights and I'm bold. My my personality takes over the characters in some place. Okay. So that I'm trying to break now because the scripts I'm choosing also because most of the time the only like I think seventy percent of scripts I hear I'm a cop. So I feel either my past term I would have been a cop or in the next term I'll be a cop for sure. <laughs> a lot of times the word khaki dresses is unbelievable. So you know I think it's just the personality point of view that they tend to stereotypically put you in that slot and you know and I was so happy when she was offered me this because I said I thought you also going to be some villain role you're going to become a villain type so that I'm like yeah I'm not that you know I'm something else so. You find people filmmakers who have to vision you in a different light. Sure. That is something which you have to just if you luck upon it and if you like they have the vision to see you in a different role, then it works out for you. Uh, Kishore sir, uh, what was it like for you shooting for this one? Yeah, yeah. There already have been a lot of honest opinions which I totally agree with. <laughs> As Varu <laughs> said, we wanted work. There was no work for six months. Six months is a long time sitting at home. Uh, though I was busy, busy with something else, but still, um, being in front of the camera is like being at home. <laughs> at home in the sense, at home at work. <laughs> yeah, as uh, Rohini Ma'am uh, said, uh, we actors, like we character actors, we are usually typecast, and uh, this platform allows a liberty to the filmmakers to actually experiment, and uh, they have been brave enough uh, to experiment again. Thanks to all of them. As Prasanna um, said, uh, I've uh, played a lot of negative, uh, negative roles. So um, again, the same thing. Uh, being typecast is a major problem, and, and uh, here in this platform, you you get uh, media roles than in the commercial cinema, uh, where you don't have here you don't have to uh, actually um, please anyone, please the uh, fans, or uh, it has its own viewers. So all this. I agree with, and I, I uh, <laughs> actually feel the same thing. Coming to this story, um, as Shivasa uh, rightly mentioned, this actually gives some hope. I always feel that um, cinema is such a powerful medium uh, that it should not uh, end in a end on a negative note. It, there should be some hope, and this uh, story gives a lot of hope. And as you all mentioned, during these times. Uh, it is a time to introspect, and uh, my character was like that. It, it was, it was time for him to introspect, and uh, uh, there are lots of um, uh, nice perceptions um, being being dealt with in uh, with in this. Uh, it was totally uh, a wonderful experience. Right. Uh, I've been been with such a great team, and Nanga uh, Panopo. The 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 moment I stepped into the set, I said. Even as a day, money sir, part of the year, karma did. I was just out of money and so on, and went back to the same set. <laughs> All uh, known faces uh, around you makes you more comfortable. And we were working after such a long time. Um, I never knew uh, that I'll be able to act again. Only when the energy was there. Oh, the blow on all gap put that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Everyone believe that, okay? Everyone, please buy it. Please. Ganda is saying it's time to introspect. Now we have been introspecting for these seven months, and this is what I realized. <laughs> and so much love, and so much care um, taken by the whole team. So that they are saying, I love me all. So it was a really nice feeling, as Varu rightly said. Uh, when when you know that you are working in a project with so many known people, it's 
it really feels good you really feel very very comfortable but i i want to hear from you, you know, what was it like working with uh, uh, working with the crew and team and also i believe the uh, uh, everything was shot during august right so we were still coming to terms with what is the right way to shoot something how many people have to be on the set and you know and obviously you can't go too near artists and so many restrictions so uh, how did you deal with all that was there was there a lot of anxiety on the set while shooting all these things bharat yeah so uh, our first shot was set up at uh, we were cheating and uh, uh, an apartment inside the park hotel in chennai and uh, yeah I, i wouldn't call it anxiety we were uh, actually uh, we were uh, we got baited up for the whole project because we wanted to find out uh, how to shoot because next one year this is the way it is going to be uh, you can't test that on a uh, a feature film or a bigger scale film so we all I mean, at, at least uh, if i have to speak for myself i i thought okay fine let, let me use this as a warm up uh, to uh set up the new sops how to go about uh, shooting so it happened let's see you you shoot at a five star hotel obviously you know there are a lot, a lot of rules coming in a lot of restrictions coming in you know in a time the sanitization process and all that thanks to the production so they uh, they put out their own sops plus the uh, location uh, in charges uh, sops as well so i wouldn't call it anxiety we were all like at least i was excited i was excited uh, but first one hour was little bothering i would say with the maths on and you know i could see the uh, carpenters working see i mean for us it was it was slightly comfortable comfortable i would give it first to the uh, the laborers and the carpenters completely like with the mask gloves and all that they were doing all the physical work and all this i was just only uh, working on that so how are they going to continue to work for the next one year if, if this is going to be this way so i hope a uh, better situation prevails uh, next was the actors see we stay behind the camera you know i don't have to remove my mask uh, so think about the actors let's see in my case like prasanna and pavitra so we are talking about uh, uh, a one night stand kind of a setup so they need to get not really close at least sorry prasanna that part 2 we will do that but uh, in, in this in this film at least at the counter you know they need to sit closer and still not uh, wear the mask so that's a huge risk uh, i'm sure prasanna didn't have a problem with it I know he was willing. He was willing. Oh <laughs> he, he was willing. It was such a pleasure, <laughs> and and I I still want to thank uh, uh, whoever did the casting. Uh, such a pretty looking girl. You did uh, your own casting. Uh, yes, yes. Oh, Neha, I did come. Neha, I did come. I did not come. No, back at the room, there come. I am very much loving you. No, no, ma'am. I seriously have been really, literally getting tired of. uh like like kishore said uh, being type casted uh, that monotony was uh, killing me i wanted a liberation and adam gave me that liberation <laughs> and i i enjoyed it completely not not just because of the girl who was sitting in front of me totally uh, the script what what she uh, has written how uh, uh, you know bharat uh, narrated it to me how he explained me uh, before each shot how he explained what he wants from me and the girl sitting in front of me of course all these things added so much to me uh, and like everyone said shooting after 7 8 months uh, was a much more liberating uh, uh, thing for me uh, I'll, i'll tell you a trivia okay so to all actually uh, so we had a different shiva had uh, written a different version of the same story uh, very different but it, it it is the same story in fact i wish we we should do the crossroads too uh, that was pitched for kishore sir okay so it's completely said but that has more uh, hot and steamy scenes also <laughs> no that that was that is that is that was pitched for kishore sir <laughs> so uh, maybe she she, she she can do crosswords 2 3 4 and all that so 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 yeah so that's that's about the working process hemant and that's what the team is concerned uh you know first sujatha and devi sena my uh, first film k13 happened because of sujatha so uh, <laughs> uh pra, pra, varu said you know during this time he, even she would have danced in swimming suit in the middle of the road i would have done the same if sujatha had asked me to do so <laughs> okay so uh, cut the visuals there so um any in respect of anything i would have gone for work whatever sujatha would have called for and uh, that was the first and the biggest reason then the entire team 
uh, I had met and spoken to Kishore sir before, though I have not worked with him. And Prasanna and Varu, I worked with them in the Nibunan. I was the first AD there. And uh, JP sir, I've known JP sir on uh, you know different projects and all that. So it was it was kind of the same team I was going to that was very comfortable. Even the other director, for example, Sarjun, I've known him for a very long time. We have met for different projects and stuff like that. Uh, in fact, I've not met uh, Shiva sir. In, in, um, I've, I've still not met him in person yet, but we have yeah. spoken many times over uh, phone. It's not that easy, Bharat. I get that. I get that. Yes. To be sentimental, just to meet him. That was only two. Oh, oh, oh! I thought it was just me. Okay, noted. <laughs> Next time, do the patho. Patho, you know. Shiva sir, in the morning, in the morning, call Shiva sir to mute. Put up the okay. That's good. I don't know. I don't know. And finally, coming to the actors, uh, I had a brilliant cast: Prasanna, Pavitra, and uh, Abhirami. All three did fantastic job. They made made my job easier uh, because the first, yeah, you have all these protocols and all that. Then you have only two days to shoot, and you have producers on the set, literally breathing uh, just behind my neck. And then, yeah, I thought wouldn't it? Such, I mean, actually, they were very sweet. And uh, but yeah, they did breathe down my neck as well. So. Your actors makes your job easier, you know. First Telugu, they got all the lines perfectly. I know, I know. I've 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 been used to Prasanna's memory power from the Bundan days, so that was kind of a safe zone there. Pavitra, the uh, the other female lead, she did a fantastic job as well. I think she's half Telugu, if I'm not wrong. And so that that is sorted there. Once that is sorted, you just need to focus on to get the right shots and all that. And uh, I think I'm the least experienced in the entire conversation right now that is happening or the entire project i would say in terms of cinema so for example speaker sir so after the shoot when i go back to him i i thought okay he will give me one cut i can't say anything so i, I can just say yes or no the first day he gave me three options for a scene and i was like floored okay <laughs> it was so sweet he gave me options for scenes i i gave some uh, uh, kuti kuti corrections here and there and he just like Sent me back on WhatsApp all the video clips to whatever that he was correcting. It was uh, brilliant. I I was telling my other filmmakers we are in a small WhatsApp group. I, was, I used to tell them, today I gave this to Sikhar sir and he gave it back to me. And he, you know, I used to update them. So that was like, I thanks to Sujata for putting up this fantastic team. Then Anu, another very experienced person. I think she had one of the most challenges during the pre-production because literally all shops are closed. But yeah. myself and Prasanna, we were putting down a foot and saying, "No, we don't want this dress. We don't want this dress, or we want this dress." I'm I'm very time. adamant about what I wear, uh, so I yes, I yes. really gave gave yes. a tough time. Yes, oh, and, and she was yeah. running around all around the city, and all the shops were closed. Very limited stock. Exactly. Yeah. Colors were not available. Somehow, yeah. somehow we pulled it off. Yeah, and uh, I think uh, eventually, like you know, we have we 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 had a fantastic costume for all all the uh, cats and all that. And then uh, Kadir sir, Art. Uh, again, see the, the reason I'm giving a shout out to all the names is it was very different, especially for these people to work during this uh, lockdown. So Kadir sir, even a, a, a recce would take so many uh, security protocols. You know, you go in there again with the masks and the gloves and all that, and then you they need they were they had to work at restricted spaces. And then uh, uh, cinematographer Shelly, uh, he did fantastic job. You know, the, all these people made my job very very easy. And yeah, so it was very interesting. I have to, to add in my thing in, with what Bal said that you know we were shooting whatever scene in the right in the middle of the pandemic, so yeah. the risks were relatively higher. But the yeah. way the whole production treated the shooting has to be mentioned because to a point where you didn't think twice that oh shit I'm going to get infected because you know everything was clean. Like right, right from the fact that suppose your shot was over. And supposing it was my pen, which you know the art, like the art people move for oh, a, yes. for a position or the art director move, immediately it was sanitized for the next shot. So you know things like that make a difference. So that it also makes the actors feel like they say the actors can't afford to really wear a mask because our makeup gets a little messed up. You know if you keep keep wearing it and taking it off. Uh, in that sense, everything was so well organized that you felt really safe. You know, and it was like it was like it was like a memory thing where they forgot and they were particularly focused on. Everything being clean, everything being sanitized, you know, uh, safety precautions were at the highest level. So that way, I have to give it to the team. Well done, guys, and a big clap to you all because really, really well done because we got safe. None of us got corona. 
let me come to the first thing when shiva bounced the scripts of me and uh, i said uh, I, I, shiva is very nice and it's very precise you know and very subtle it's precise and more so for telugu i i'm more happy because s- such things are not coming so much in telugu i feel so i said it's a very good attempt to put something which is in the right direction for the uh, films as such so then he said can you suggest some editor and all that and i had to volunteer my own name for it <laughs> to get, get thank god thank god <laughs> and uh, at the end no uh, 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 sir that's that's exactly what uh, shiva wanted plan. yeah that's the plan actually <laughs> so uh, shiva i mean i call myself a well wisher of shiva i have known him for quite some time so we really hit it off well and so i have been waiting for him to do lots of things so this is one of the things he's done he's going to do i think lots of things in the future so when this happened when the script came i thought it was very precise and also i think you know somewhere i think uh, suddenly you see stories being told in the ott platforms which i thought is uh, making much more sense to me because uh, otherwise we are generally more concentrating on the stars and stuff like yeah. that because all the films we have and in this the difference which i could feel because i have not done too many i have done short films outside not for the ott platforms uh, other than in this situation so what is the biggest takeaway was that a story could be told exactly how much it is required and you don't have to dilute it most of the film picture films mostly i'm stuck with huge amount of uh, length and we are trying to cut short the story after the film is shot or you know trying to take off things and put back things and stuff that process is there which here it was a little more so all i had to was uh, be with shiva and uh, and the directors to see that emotionally and the subtlety comes through properly so that was easy and i think also in this given situation like other people have mentioned i think the production has done a very nice job they were hands on the producers sujata and dev sena they were always uh, there to s- see the process you know the progress of the f- film and they really kicked up about doing such things you know which Uh, really rubs on to everybody i think you know they they really mean to do some good stuff so uh, i it was a very nice experience actually working with the whole team actually <laughs> Uh, i would like to add to this like you know when i saw the edit like when i went to the dubbing uh, basically this scene uh, i was like uh, we were using a lot of silence in the uh, scene Uh, and sarjun went like uh, both of us went with the, uh, the flow and i was like you know taking a lot of uh, time silence in between and then just uh, letting it come and but you know usually when we see the edit uh, i will be actually you know, in the in the edit you know here, here the silence is taken off because of many reasons like sir said the length would be the problem and but then when in that particular scene there is so much of silence in between the struggle of the woman is uh, conveyed through the the struggle she is actually going through and i when i spoke with shrikar sir i said sir i'm so happy that you were editing and then sarjun also felt like keeping those silences and uh, i i was like really thrilled to see those silences you know is there in the end product which is not happening in basic other yeah. uh, you know other uh, platforms like in films it doesn't happen kada no actually the thing is that uh, the pauses you know actually helps you in sinking the emotion you know which is a very 
in the, i mean we try to follow that in all the edits which we do in, even in features and uh, if required of length we try to cut off the story rather than cut off the nuances of the scene you know? and uh, like every other film i think there was a Uh, some takeaways for me also from this whole project was uh, i had a lot of discussion with sarjun on his project uh, it was shot a little ingeniously because uh, they couldn't really go out and shoot with uh, uh, on the outdoors in the nights there's no permissions and then he was brainstorming and they had come up with some ideas which i thought were very good and uh, i i said whatever i felt and then the way they composed the whole lorry sequence not really going outdoor inside a floor i think is a great takeaway even for me from this film you know i think it's very nicely done by the cameraman wait what uh, the whole thing was shot inside a floor yeah exactly i'm i'm very curious to understand this okay so you have a predominantly a tamil crew like uh, a lot of uh, talent and act- technicians that you have uh, have worked in uh, some of them have worked in telugu also right uh, but when the first poster came out my first uh, thought was okay is it a tamil uh, anthology which is dubbed in telugu but then sujatha clarify like no no it's a direct uh, thing so did you think about all these things like how the how the series itself is going to be perceived once it comes out in telugu or uh, is it a challenge for you in that sense Uh, in a sense it's a challenge and in a sense it's not uh, yes the first thing that is uh, likely to strike a person is you know these are all tamil people but like rohini ma'am always keeps clarifying uh, rohini ma'am is a is an actor uh, from telugu predominantly yeah. too so uh, yes and no in, in the sense that uh, today we're all used to watching so much of content uh, irrespective of uh, language so in that sense uh, we were confident that the sto- the story and the actors and the technicians like is the case with any other uh, language if you know in any any film it doesn't really matter so uh, once you get past the thing that is this tamil is this telugu uh, you know it's 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 actually i think a switch sometimes you know once you uh, get past that i think uh, uh, it, it will uh, you will still be able to get across so we were very confident that yes there is a a possibility that uh, you know it might be perceived as tamil uh, dubbed in telugu but we made a lot of effort to make sure that we we try and stay as authentic as uh, we would like it to be so there a lot of people behind scenes that helped us uh, uh, for example the the, the uh, telugu writer kiran is is from hyderabad uh, we took a lot of help from the rh team itself because uh, you know they also uh, gave in a lot of inputs because uh, yes it is a uh, shot in 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 chennai i mean if maybe it was if maybe if it was not a lockdown situation maybe we would have shot in uh, andhra and telangana perhaps but uh, this uh, this po- this was an opportunity and this was a challenge as well but because we were equipped with the right people backing us uh, and uh, we were very confident about it in fact like uh, someone like uh, nani sir i've seen from a distance and i've always known him to be a very nice person but Uh, he is telugu speaking uh, one of our nani sir here is shrikar sir oh yeah oh okay okay, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> he is uh, speaking uh, uh, referred to as uh, nani sir by uh, i mean the yeah, yeah. sure. uh, reference uh, him uh, to him is nani sir we do that so he uh, he someone like him so we had him as our primary bouncing board shiva would bounce off ideas with him Uh, in fact because we had so many restrictions in terms of uh, time and resources uh, we didn't have the option of let's say going for shoot then coming back and realizing that it's not working and then going back so uh, all the directors had chats with the uh, uh, shikhar sir uh, to you know to also get an editing perspective and you know to try and uh, make sure this is an optimal uh, production i know bharat said that uh, you know i was breathing down his neck i was breathing down most of their necks <laughs> uh primary primarily because there was the uh, responsibility i mean uh, when 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 i look at this entire production uh, i look at it as responsibility you know because you are getting about 50 to 60 people out there uh, shooting uh, most people are enthused because uh, you know they have not worked uh, you know for the last 3 4 months but if you look at people who are working for let's say for the economics of it 
you know, uh, you're getting them all out there. So, you know, it was primarily a whole load of responsibility from the lockdown perspective. And then here was an opportunity. There's so many technicians on board again, like someone like Shrikar sir is backing us. So we can't let him down, you know. So there was this absolute need to make sure that, uh, you know, and Shiva's wonderful stories and, and so many, I mean, Sarjun, Bharat, Prasanna. Uh, I mean, we, we've known Prasanna for so long, but that doesn't take away the fact that, you know, he's an actor of that, uh, you know, caliber. And someone like Rohini Ma'am and Kishore sir, I've seen from a distance. But uh, now, I mean, as, as stars, but when you work with them, you see them unfold the magic. You want to do justice to every single thing. And oh. just before shoot, uh, uh, Alu Arbin sir had messaged Sujata and I saying, be responsible. You know, that's <laughs> what he was saying. So, which, which is, you know, that was the key word, you know, that we have to be responsible for so many people and we can't take things for granted. And I have threatened Bharat saying, Bharat, if you don't finish this now, I have to sell my bangle. I don't have the money to do this. Please do this. <laughs> so, I mean, it's like, because the, the economics of it is as important. The bangle is still there. Bangle is yeah, there. Yeah, very much. Uh, the creative angle and, the, you know, the economics angle have to be balanced. And that cannot be done by just one person. You you, you know, every single person here has uh, collaborated with each other to make this out. So you can't really say there are two producers. I think everyone has produced this to make it what it is. So what were your uh, uh, instructions to the crew? Like, uh, they just had two days to finish the shoot. Is that uh, what uh, the two, the two, when, I, when we say two days, uh, like, 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 let's say, for example, two days for the literal two days that we had, there was some prep work. Uh, like, for example, okay. even Lori had some prep work a little ahead. Uh, so, right. but the actual shoot day was only two days because one, everything was very dynamic. Today, uh, let's say, for example, we approach one location. Uh, somebody may have been affected by COVID over there and, you know, the place was shut off. So yeah. everything was changing. So by the time we arrived at something, it was uh, it was uh, it was quite a feat. Uh, Sarjun would know especially because uh, you know uh, so there's another story that we might have considered. Rather, I mean, I, we're going on harping. I felt like a school teacher saying safety, 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 and I think the production manager and the directors were all done with me going on and on about safety. <laughs> so there was a lot to uh, do, and we had to do it quickly. So a lot of prep time uh, before uh, really helped us and uh, that's I think everyone See, I mean, this is why I miss uh, Sujata because I don't know they were so well she didn't even mention me today holding <laughs> Manu I'm so sorry <laughs> <laughs> my friend did it for me as a friendship as a friendship did it for me yes Manu I'm speaking up with them next time actually I'm leaving this Zoom call bye Baru, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I I will fill up for Sujata no I will not accept this it's not acceptable okay. I'm so sorry. Please forgive me for the miss. I'm so sorry you're there. We couldn't have done this without you. Worst uh, behavior. Worst. Did I miss anybody else? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Shrika sir and uh, Shiva. So uh, each of the short film is about 18 minutes, right? Like, yeah. uh, And I'm kind of surprised that you got that consistent in all these three things. Because uh, at least one of the uh, stories could have been longer, but then you still kept it to 18 minutes. Uh, was it a very conscious decision, sir? Uh, the script only demanded that much, you know. It's always, uh, we were thinking maybe it would be 20 minutes to mm. whatever, you know. Yeah. So, and uh, it, uh, as it, the edit flowed on and we made it uh, tighter and stuff like that, it landed up at that uh, sort of space because... And I think the credit is to Shiva also. He didn't. He just made sure that uh, the, uh, it was the right uh, number of X number of scenes to convey the story emotionally and okay. not have too much of uh, leeway. And I think also, I think another thing which another good takeaway for these directors also should be that that they, the less time they're given. They shoot the correct length also, I think. <laughs> <laughs> if they have been yeah. given three days, it would have probably made it 24 minutes. <laughs> so I think so. working uh, under pressure is great. <laughs> okay. Yeah, and we were trying to capture the uh, right moment in the story. You know, we, uh, we didn't have time or we didn't even intend to have a long build-up or a long introduction to the characters. It, it was not the conventional um, uh, setup way of kind of... Uh, 
storytelling, right? You are just trying to capture a slice of life, like how from a large equation you uh, cut out a small piece, like they do in calculus, to represent the whole thing. Yeah. We just wanted to capture a moment in life where uh, it kind of uh, extends in your mind. You are able to extrapolate and fill in the blanks. So, uh, to continue with what uh, Shikhar Sir was saying, uh, I think the shooting in these times uh, required the uh, prep work that we put in, all the actors. Uh, I, I've said hi to Rohini Imam a few times, but I know Prasanna really well. I know Varu and I know uh, Kishore sir very well. We are working together now. Uh, so I know how talented they are, but uh, more than that, we wanted them to own the lines. We didn't want to go to the set where uh, Bharat or Sajun or I have to uh, discuss with them at length. They, they were not that kind of, they are not that kind of actors also, you know. They are more uh, instinctive uh, performers. They are not uh, theoretical about it. So we just went over the lines a few times. We, we got comfortable with the uh, roles that they're going to play, how they're going to look, what's going to happen. And we bounced the whole shooting plan with uh, Shikhar sir. The, we wanted to you know, define the number of setups and how long it was going to be. It was not mathematical. It just landed up at that length because we didn't improvise too much on the set. Everything was pre-planned. And, and our attempt was also to focus on that particular moment in the story. This is one of the biggest takeaways. The same thing goes for the art and costume department as well. They had prepared lookbooks, they shared everything. So that was helpful. The second biggest important takeaway from this is it's best to leave uh, Nani sir alone. None of us <laughs> went to the studio, sat next to him and bothered him. He had the script, he knew of what was coming and he had already kind of advised us on certain pauses and certain shots that we should not miss out on. And then when the footage went to him, he edited by himself. Imagine us sitting with him and giving us our two cents, giving him our two cents unnecessarily, delaying the process. So uh, I'm bringing it up because in in this environment, it's very important to uh, manage post production uh, in uh, remote. When you have uh, Shikhar sir to guide you, and then you also have the music director Sundar Murthy. Uh, he uh, was composing the theme for the whole. Uh, series as well as uh, doing the background score for each film. How do you interact with them? How do you get the files? And how do you work with the sound engineer Varun? And how do we put it all together? And it's, uh, we, are, we are all so used to uh, uh, exchanging ideas in person, debating and coming up with uh, uh, one thought process and using the collective energy to push forward. You don't have the luxury in these settings. So I, it was a learning experience for all of us. And especially, uh, my Telugu is pretty good. But if, uh, if, if you are actually going to work with actors who don't own the lines, then that's a uh, problem. Luckily for me, uh, Kishore sir and uh, Varu were uh, fully ready. And I'm sure, uh, I've heard from Bharat and uh, Sajjan how comfortable they were with their actors also. So. It boiled down to prep and it boiled down to how you are able to um, rediscover the old ways to <laughs> make movies. Devasan and Shiva or uh, Stika said, I don't know who came up with the title Adam itself. But then having seen the anthology, uh, I mean, the way I interpreted it was... Kiran, that... the writer, came up with the oh, title. Okay, Kiran, right. Almost like uh, every story has two major characters, right? And at least one of them is projecting their fear or anger or all these emotions on the other person. But then what they get in return is something else, right? Like uh, this is very prominent in um, uh, Varu and Kishore's story and also uh, in Prasanna's story also, right? Now, uh, his story deals uh, quite a bit with masculinity and he's talking about it. Then the girl tells him something else, like, and then his perception changes. Was that the idea with every story that you build it to a certain level and the audience also starts believing in it, but then you turn the table to a end? Were you aiming for that with every story? No, not really. That would be uh, probably just a, a, a twist-based approach. We didn't want to take that. I'm a fan of okay. short stories. Uh, my favorite writer is a Malayalam writer, Vaikam Mohammed Bashir. And uh, short stories are essentially a slice of life. That's how I see it. I don't necessarily see it as twisty, but maybe the 
idea behind this series because it's morality and probably the way I see it would have resulted in that kind of a structure in all these stories. For example, uh, every time I find myself adrift in uh, sorrow or in uh, melancholia or in guilt and anger, any of the emotions that you don't want to carry on for too long, I find myself coming back only through compassion and only through understanding. So first you have to learn to forgive yourself, then you can forgive others, and it works vice versa. So you keep coming back to find your feet in life only through uh, patience and uh, empathy. So in these stories, you probably find that somewhere that uh, you know there are opportunities to slip up, there are opportunities to uh, turn evil, take the wrong turn in life, but ultimately good sense somehow prevails. Uh, these are not moral stories, though they are about morality, but it's about what the majority of us are likely to do in these situations. We, we are not great people, but we are not bad people either. You know, The majority of us are normal people. We are presented with these day-to-day -day, uh, moral fiber questions all the time. And most of the time, most of us take the right call. When we don't take the right call and when we go the wrong way, you are upset, you are angry, you are disappointed with either yourself or with others. But then the only way you can come back to mainstream is to be empathetic. So that moment maybe uh, uh, is sure. what is standing out for you in the story. Like you think somebody is going to go this way, but go that way. It's not meant to be like a narrative twist. It was more like a, an emotional approach. Okay, before I conclude, right, I wanted to ask each one of you. So uh, in the process of telling these stories, did it really hit you in some way? Like, did it, did it mean something very personal to each one of you? Because the kind of emotions that each one of the characters goes through, I think it speaks quite loud to a viewer like me. Right? Um, especially uh, the story with Rohini and Jai Prakash and and Baru and Kishore, right? Like there was something very, very real about uh, the emotions that they were going through, whether the act of forgiving or trying to forget what they've been through or uh, uh, like, like Shiva sir just said, like you first forgive yourself to come to terms with uh, what has happened. Let's step back for, for a moment and look at it from an audience perspective. What would you feel when you see something like this? I understand that because you've been part of the whole series, it, uh, it means something else. But what is your personal takeaway after? The conflict, you know, emotional conflict a person undergoes, I think, mm -hmm. is what uh, sort of uh, interests you in this whole thing, I think, you know. And it's very relevant to everybody because they have so many conflicting emotions in their life, you know. So at the end of the, in each of these stories, it has... That, you know, th there's very contrasting and conflicting emotions in every story, you know. That's what I thought was very, which, which affected me most, you know, because it could have been like this or it could have been like this, you know, but it was like this, you know, that sort of feeling is what I felt. Yeah, so uh, when you ask me, like, you know, uh, the, the reasons for taking up the project and all that, I listened to this story first. Uh, I don't know why was this offered. Uh, Probably it has a similar setup of one of the scenes from my previous films. I don't know if that was Sujata or she was a call. But I uh, I refuse to listen to other stories even at later stages. You know because I love the story so much. I connected to it so much. Don't judge me because now you know the story. You have watched the film um, for different reasons. I connected to the film so much, and I came into filmmaking to voice out. Uh, I wanted the stories that I say to be very personal uh, to come within me. Though this was written by another person, beautifully written by Shiva, I still felt that I wouldn't have written it any other uh, in, in any other different manner. So I loved it then. And uh, I mean, even after making, I think I wanted to make this film because I connected to the story first as an audience. Okay. Uh, I, I, I still continue to do so. Even after making, now the product is done. I'm still enjoying this film as an audience. I connected to the conflict of the film so much so that, you know, and especially when the title, uh, Adam, yes, beautiful title, when Crossroads came in and I was like blown. Uh, uh, okay, so they, when I, I knew that the title was Crossroads, oh, okay, my, oh my God, like what was, and what an amazing title for this story, you know, because I, I'm 40, at 40, you generally associate yourself with uh, Crossroads and Crossroads mm -hmm. is generally associated with your career choices and we pretend 
uh, that it is not associated with our personal life. That's what are you really forty? Are you really forty? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought you were thirty-nine or something. Okay. Abriya. <laughs> During the course of the film, I became one year older, maybe. <laughs> so yeah, when I uh, when Shiva sir sent me the, he sent me actually all the stories. So I read everything. Uh, so uh, specifically, I spoke about uh, the lorry and uh, uh, the psychiatrist story. So both had this uh, special quality of. Uh, you know you can't say who's right and who's wrong yeah the, especially you know uh, first i had the discussion about the psychiatric story so with ashwa sir where uh, i can't say whether kishor sir was right or wrong or the the doctor who was right or wrong you know or the husband who advises was right or wrong there yeah, sure. so all three all three had those uh, you know their own angle to their the, the situation and you can't judge anybody and this was very strong in the lorry story also in fact uh, 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 three four days back uh, so i showed the film to one of my friend and we had an argument for almost half an hour to you know we were discussing about who was right whether the boy was right or the yeah. or the rogini ma'am's character was right or you know so it was just an argument to uh, of the situation what could uh, could they have done sure. that is what i think the, the it was interesting you know uh, if the if the film can stir up some discussion after mm. words i mean after the film is over i think that is all it needs there, there, it, it was not black or white the, sure. all three films they all have their gray shades and at the same time you can't judge anybody right i think uh, that that was speciality because we go through these situations in our daily life sure uh, maybe in a uh, you know uh, in a in a bigger incident or a smaller one but we go through we quickly take decisions and move and probably we look back and think probably we shouldn't have done this right. probably we should have done this so that is what all the three stories stir up and uh, that is what i loved about it yeah that's exactly my my point of view also because the, none of these scripts uh, gives you a judgment about uh, morality a judgment about a character uh, it it starts a debate it starts a dialogue uh, Uh, that that's what uh, uh, i felt when i read the script i haven't seen the other films uh, okay. uh, till this point but i'm sure uh, uh, those films are also uh, very exciting uh, from what the uh, uh, teasers and uh, uh, you know shots that i've seen i'm really looking forward to watch them as well uh, sujata of course uh, uh, she knows all the scripts and she mentioned this to me and that that really uh, you know uh, strike me uh this is not judging anybody this is not about judging a character this is not about judging anybody based on morality which itself is subjective uh, but but it it starts a, a conversation it starts a debate that's what the exciting part is yeah uh, in the sense that there are some things in life that are uh, non negotiably wrong for instance rape or abuse or uh, racism or things like that which uh, there's no black and white about it you know those things clearly come under uh, you know the wrongs of it but uh, other than those very important non negotiable things i think every day we all face uh, uh, these moral dilemmas if you want to call them that or choices that we make uh, it need not be life changing but it does uh, you know uh, you you make a choice and what you think is right uh, there is a very good chance that somebody else will think it's wrong so uh, you know so that that happens to all of us and uh, when it comes to very important things in life then it becomes uh, a bigger debate so in that sense uh, what like what sujatha was saying that this starts off a debate we're not trying to project something which is right wrong we're not trying to bracket things we're not trying to label things we're not trying to judge but we're just throwing open uh, i think through uh, this is what shiva was also saying i think it's just throwing it open and what does one person do today i may do something different tomorrow but that's what strikes me today and uh, yeah that's that's uh, and uh, the moral compass perhaps changes for people for situations the day time that you are in your own life perhaps kishor sir and uh, varu right uh, i just have one question for you so let's say you make the decision in the split of a second right like varu that uh, whatever it is Uh, i don't want to reveal it here but let's say you slept on it that night 
and woke up the next morning do you think the character would have still stuck to the same decision or would she have changed her mind so the thing is just to answer this question the previous question that you had asked an opinion is twofold in this case because one is the point of audience point of view and okay. second is is an actor point of view from an actor point of view there's no disrespect to any other form method because it's not that mm. an actor has to go through this particular process so you have to do this in order to be a good actor mm. every actor has their own methods every actor has their own way of dealing with things okay. as long as the character is conveyed that's where your job ends so for me okay. as an actor i was only focused on what shivas wanted as from the character it's not my okay. personal opinion of the character i don't take it personally because the thing is that when i do films i only i only have one point of view which is the director's point of view i think uh, sarjun also will uh, agree with me i think i remember when i was working with him i never went to the monitor once and ever said you know should i do this should i do this i would only look at his face and even if he was a newcomer and was the first time i just said are you okay with the shot and he would say yeah and then that's it that was the end of conversation so i think that's how i work as an actor i don't believe in a process like i can sound very deep about it but i'm being very very honest about it i don't want to be you know uh this is who i am as an act, as and there's no judgment on how other processes work it's just that as a process for me i don't go so much into the character it not messes with my head but i don't i don't see i look at it as my job and i'm very passionate about my job and I, in order for me to do it effectively i need to detach myself from my work okay to a certain to a certain level for example in tarat apate if i had to go through the process and get very mentally disturbed that whole movie would have been extremely difficult for me to portray because if you, like there are, i know a lot of people who went into characters and couldn't come out of it so you know i i my process is not that way and as an audience point of view i think everybody will have something that they will identify with in one of the stories it doesn't have to be only my story or someone else's story the any audience will identify because at some point of our lives all of us have gone through a dilemma of right and wrong mm-hmm. and what we choose from it is again not based on judgment of anything but it's on their own situations so because as a person i don't judge i don't judge anybody i don't judge people's processes i don't judge how people are i don't judge what people do it's each one's business and each one's uh, opinion as long as you don't hurt another person i'm okay with your decisions so okay. same goes with this particular story also i think with all at least i i've not watched my own story also okay. but from what yeah so I, as an audience i can't even judge all three stories but from what i understood from all the stories i think anybody will identify with some form and i feel if you ask me as an actor point of view that this is my point of view that i don't um, go into the character of what happened where happened i know my lines i know my job i know that i have to deliver a particular method doesn't make me wrong or right it's just who i am and that's my process okay the biggest take away i think was uh, the pair of white shoes that was given to me after the shoot <laughs> <laughs> That is outstanding. That is outstanding. Was outstanding. <laughs> <laughs> uh, the, there's a saying uh, which goes like this: They say um, to know the person, uh, you have to look at his feet, what he's wearing. I know. Uh, if I look at my feet, I'll be wearing some Hawaii chappal. I mean, <laughs> I don't know what people will judge me uh, by that. Yeah, the film basically is um, contrary to that. I think it. it uh actually uh is non judgmental and in a lot of ways um any character uh, for that matter and whatever i see uh, in the trailer every character is uh, written like that every story is written like that to be non judgmental and um and uh, finally uh, as everyone um, rightly mentioned it has to so a seed of uh, so a thought a thought has to provoke in the audience mind and finally uh, the, the the film whatever uh, media medium that we are using is complete only when it reaches the audience and uh, there is when there is a dialogue so uh, it effectively uh, the, this film effectively uh, does that. that's what i i make out of uh, the trailers because i have not watched that attempt as i uh, mentioned at the beginning also uh, this actually lets you introspect try and introspect and as uh, very uh, rightly titled also very well titled adam it is a mirror mirror for you it mirrors you shows you uh, yourself and it actually uh, the other person is also might also be a mirror uh, for you so you might see a lot of things uh, then my uh, shiva has said uh, finally it shows you a way out also an option 
which being empathetic which is i think uh, the right thing to do right now it is quite educative uh, in a lot of ways thank you so much all of you it was a lovely uh, experience interacting with all of you all the best for your show i hope it gets a lot of accolades and laurels from the audience thank you thank you thank you thank you so much thank you everybody thank you bye bye thank you so much